Hello Libra, thank you so much for checking out this video. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you've been here before and you're a subscriber. Thank you so much for those of you who have already subscribed. This is going to be a love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, but it is, so we're going to do that today. It's going to be a general love reading, so it cannot and will not resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this video, it does not mean this is your story. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest, and make sure you check out your rising moon sign and Venus signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, so let's get into it. I'm trying a different spread today. Spirit messages for Libra, please. In regards to love, I'm going to start with the romance angels for this set of readings. For Libra, please. Huge thank you again to everyone who has already subscribed, everybody who comments, likes the videos. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I read all of the comments, good and bad. <laughs> um, and I appreciate the support. So for Libra, please spare. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? What do you need to know? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So some of you are manifesting a soulmate. All right. What else for Libra? Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So not only are you calling in your soulmate, but you want it to be a long-term commitment. What else? And soulmate. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate. Very interesting. So this is definitely going to be a reading all about, I feel, a soulmate connection. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have attraction. Again, one of the cards, attraction for me is a card of uh, manifestation as well. You know, similar to the law of attraction. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the energy oracle cards have to say about your situation this month. What messages do you have for Libra spirit in regards to love? For Libra. Okay. We got broken heart and caring connections. Wow. So there has been heartbreak. Whether it's with this person or just in love in general. But I feel like someone special is coming your way. Especially if you've been calling in a soulmate for a while, I feel like, I mean, yes, this is your soulmate. It's like they're here, you know? Let's see. One more, please, for Libra. Journey. Beautiful. Interesting. I'm getting um, from this card, Journey, I'm getting uh, a long time coming. So let's get into the tarot, see what this is all about for Libra spirit. This is the Light Seers tarot. I love the artwork of this deck. And it's a little thick, so I'm not able to shuffle it easily. So just bear with me as I like split these up for Libra in regards to love. For Libra spirit. What do they need to know in regards to love? What do they need to know in regards to love? Okay, Libra, let's get into this. Queen of Swords reversed. Not a good person to deal with, the Queen of Swords reversed. That is somebody who has been hurt one too many times. They've become cold, detached, angry. They're very destructive, difficult to communicate with. Um, they keep a lot to themselves and it's like they twist the truth when they, when they need to. So one of you here in this connection is dealing with a queen of swords. 
temperance reverse. Something has not been able to come together in harmony. By the way, uh, we do reverse cards on this channel. There will be reversals coming out, and that's okay. I cannot control what card Spirit wants to share. I, I swear, people think that I like know which cards are going to come out and specifically pick out reversals. That's not how it works. Um, reversals just mean the message is different. It has no no other negative connotation, okay? Just means the message is different. Because I've been getting some comments like, there's too many reversals, okay? And that's the message. If you don't like reversals, don't watch a channel that has reversals. Four of Wands, interesting. So something to do with uh, home. Maybe some someone in this connection is leaving home. Um, notice she has like, um, her bags are packed in this photo. So there could be literally like a move happening here. Um, a change in location or something to do with home and harmony in the home. Knight of Cups reversed. I, I saw this Knight of Cups reversed while I was shuffling. Um, Knight of Cups reversed under the Queen of Swords reversed. Yikes. Okay, so Knight of Cups reversed tends to be someone who says what they need to say in order to keep you around, keep you interested, to in order to get what they are wanting. Knight of Cups reversed could also be someone that's really heartbroken, really disappointed. Um... It could be a blocked message of love, an intercepted message of love as well. Um, so let's see what else we can get here for Libra. So I'm seeing that something really happened, whether in this connection or to just one of you, um, that really uh, affected you. And I feel like all this time you've been manifesting a different partner or a new partner or manifesting your soulmate to come in ten of pentacles reverse king of wands reverse very interesting fire energy with the king of wands reverse this is someone that um is unable to commit um someone that thinks of pleasure and whatever makes them happy or whatever Whatever they want, basically. Like, they just care about getting what they want. The King of Wands reverse. Could also mean that someone's blocked from acting on something they're attracted to or acting towards, you know, there's... The King of Wands upright is someone that typically gets things done. Like, they take action, right? So when they're reversed, it could be that there's something blocking them from taking action. They could also be somebody with a bad temper. Someone with a big ego. So we'll see what the... What other messages we get here? I am going to use the same deck to clarify these. Let me clarify these messages. Let's get into this. I feel like um, whatever happened that caused a broken heart here, um, it didn't end well. This Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Four of Wands, there could be something to do with family or home life. Uh, something to do with children as well because there's children in this Ten of Pentacles card. My cards wanna talk. Okay, so let's look at this Queen of Swords Reverse first, Spirit. What can you tell me about this Queen of Swords Reverse? Queen of Swords Reverse, please. For Libra. Can you tell me about this Queen of Swords Reverse? The Magician reversed. Okay, so this Queen of Swords is very upset that they weren't able to manifest something or they weren't able to manipulate a situation in the way they wanted. Magician reverse could also be someone that you can't trust. Maybe this Queen of uh, Swords realized that they couldn't trust somebody. Um, now, Queen of Swords, just because they're a queen does not mean it has to be a female. It could be a male as well. It's more the energy. So, uh, you know, better to say someone was unable to manifest or unable to manipulate a situation and they're very upset about that. They might be dealing with someone they can't trust. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse. Strength reversed. Leo energy here with the Strength card. Um, when the Strength card is reversed, there is a lack of courage 
but also a lack of control over emotions. So it's almost like this queen of swords, whatever was not able to manifest, they didn't handle it well. Tell me more for this queen of swords reverse. Thank you. Six of wands reverse. So there was no success. The, um, nothing was able to be created or manifested. Um, they didn't deal with it well. The six of wands reverse is also someone who cares a lot about what people think cares a lot about how they're seen. Um, they tend to, you know, this tends to be someone with an ego. Bottom of the deck, five of swords, reverse. So this this queen of swords could be somebody in either your life, Libra, or someone in the person that you're interested in, their life, where they wanted things to happen their way and it didn't. And they wanted things to happen because that's what they wanted not it's not because that was the right thing to do if that makes sense tell me about temperance reverse sagittarius energy here with temperance reverse seven of wands reversed and ace of swords reverse so something wasn't able to come together with harmony because there was deception here Someone gave up on defending or fighting for this because they realized that there was some sort of deception. Tell me more about Temperance Reverse. Okay, so someone here was unable to commit possibly thought or said they were going to be able to commit um, and they they were lying. This was play, this is a very player energy. The Knight of Wands reversed. Even if they have good intentions, they never really mean to act on those. So it's almost like it's too much work for them to commit to something long term. So they, you know, play around. They say what they need to say. They come. They have fun for a good time, but not a long time. And I feel like this was very destructive to something that was trying to come together. You know, this Knight of Wands reverse. Um, I feel like someone here was really fighting for this to, to happen, was really trying. And then, you know, it, they were willing to put in the effort, but this Knight of Wands wasn't. Um, there could also be a third party energy. I only say that because I have the Three of Pentacles at the bottom. So something here involving effort or work or you know three people um was a mess essentially with this ace of swords reverse there could have been someone that um maybe there was a big fight or um someone that twisted the truth someone that lied about something in order to cover their tracks or something like that and so there was an uh, an imbalance a lack of harmony a lack of coming together easily or coming together in in balance so something here basically didn't work out and it costs a broken heart someone was very upset about this you or the person you're dealing with because this could be you that i'm talking about specifically libra or it could be the person that you are thinking about tell me about the four of wands this is usually stability, home, harmony in the home, celebration, structure. Tell me more about this Four of Wands, please. Ace of Wands. So there's, there's a new beginning here. A new beginning. And again, Ace of Wands for me as a reader is a card about manifestation as well. Creating something on your own. Um, going after an opportunity. Tell me more about the Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles, another four here. More stability. So someone here it has been holding on to something that they value. I think they've been holding on to this dream or this idea of a stable, happy home. Seven of Swords at the bottom here. Someone could be strateg being strategic or um, 
really thinking about how to get away with this new beginning kind of energy here. Ooh, and I think it has to do with the past. Let's see, what else can you give me about this Four of Wands? Someone could be holding back on a new beginning as well. I don't, I don't mind getting that energy for a lot of you though. I feel like it's gonna be that some of you are really holding on to this idea of a new beginning. Tell me more. King of Cups reversed. So a King of Cups reversed tends to be very emotionally unbalanced. Their intuition is off. Um, they could be, again, very heartbroken or disappointed about a situation to the point that they can't really see clearly or make clear decisions. Um, I have two kings here. I have a queen. I have a knight, two knights. So I'm getting the sense of um, multiple people here. If it's not multiple people, it's the same person, but exhibiting these two energies, which is very unstable, ungrounded energy. And this happens to all of us, by the way. This is not, I'm not talking about like mental instability, okay? I'm talking about our emotions, right? Like we, as we mature, as we learn from our mistakes, we learn to deal with things differently. This king, these two kings are still trying to figure things out, still trying to find balance. This um, this new beginning, there could also be a King of Cups here or a King of Wands here that does not want somebody to go after a new beginning. And so they try to take control over the situation. They try to manipulate the situation because they don't want someone to have a new beginning for whatever reason. Wheel of Fortune reversed at the bottom. So th this is a very unfortunate situation. This is bad timing. This is something that is gonna be harder than if the wheel was turned upright. Um, it's like swimming upstream, going against the current, that kind of energy. Um, the wheel is always turning though. The wheel of fortune reverse doesn't stay there. It's constantly turning, it's being turned by the divine. So something that maybe is bad timing now will be better timing later. Let's see, what's this Knight of Cups reverse down here? Can you tell me about this Knight of Cups reverse? Eight of Pentacles. This could have something to do with work for a lot of you here, because I'm getting cards about work. Um, but this Knight of Cups is focused. Um, there's They're putting an effort into something. We'll see what it is. What else can you tell me about this Knight of Cups reverse? Page of Cups. So they're working on how to either apologize or express how they feel. They could be delayed in this message and that's why they're reversed or they're dealing with someone who's very blocked. Um, someone who is um, very hurt. And so there's a barrier here with the Queen of Swords reverse. They tend to literally put up walls. So this person down here, this Knight of Cups, which I think is a very different energy. I'm just picking up on younger, uh, newer energy here. Um, this Page of Cups could be trying to think, you know, it's like, how, what do I need to do here to approach this person? You know, like, what do I need to do? Hard at work, really thinking. <laughs> Um, to make this message heard. And I have the High Priestess reverse at the bottom here, which tells me that this person could have kept this to themselves for a long time. This is, when, it, when the High Priestess is, re is reversed, either someone is not listening to their intuition or someone has been very quiet and is now ready to speak or a secret is being ready to uh, come to light, like a secret is coming out or a re reveal. So this could be a secret admirer. coming your way here. Tell me more about this 10 of Pentacles reverse. What's this 10 of Pentacles reverse? This is a, um, a lack of security, typically financial with the 10 of Pentacles. This could be a, a, a rupture or a fracture in a family unit um, that is very unstable. We got the world reversed here. Um, a lack of closure 
or uh, unable to begin something new here unable to close a chapter tell me more about this ten of pentacles reverse please six of swords reversed interesting someone could be wanting to uh return or they're blocked from this journey because of something happening either financially or with a family someone's unable to head towards calmer waters with the six of swords reverse it could also be that someone that left in the past wants to return but in any case they they're going to be blocked or delayed or um something's going to kind of get in the way here bottom of the deck ace of cups reversed very interesting so i'm, I'm getting the sense there's two people here one person who's dealing with a situation that's unable to come together a situation where there might have been deception uh someone wasn't able to commit um someone wants to give up on this and so they're trying to think of a new beginning go on a new journey here go after their more stable more happy place um but they're they're blocked or um delayed um then there's somebody here who wants to express how they feel who's working on an apology or an expression of love someone who's kept quiet two people here tell me about this king of wands reverse and i really am getting that energy of secret admirer like someone has been watching you or vice versa with the attraction card here you know and behind that i have give your relationship a chance so it's almost like this soulmate um you will need to give them a chance if that makes sense tell me about this king of wands reverse please can you tell me about this king of wands reverse as far as um signs guys i have everybody here i have air fire water and then i have pentacles as well um so it could literally be anybody but specifically main energies are leo sagittarius and water fire air <laughs> ten of wands reverse what else for the king of wands reverse queen of cups interesting when i have a pair here um where there's like a queen and a king of the same suit so like in this instance queen of cups and king of cups when one of them is reversed i feel like there's a a, a fracture here or they're not seeing eye to eye um, they literally are on different pages, etc. Um, let me get one more. Can I get one more for this King of Wands reverse? Can I get one more for this King of Wands reverse, please? Too many. Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, very interesting. Some of you are dealing in, with a third party. Uh, third party interference, which could be anything. Um, it could be another romantic partner, but it, you know, yes, but it could also be family, friends, distance, money. Someone is really um, mentally stuck on the pain or the third party interference here. Um, someone is going to have to drop a burden here. Uh, uh, the burden basically cannot be carried anymore when it's the Ten of Wands reversed. I have two tens reversed. So that to me tells me as a reader, a delay in a new beginning, a delay in the end of a cycle or the end of a or the culmination of something. There's a delay or a block. And I think it has to do with someone being, you know, overthinking, having fear, uh, having uh, doubts about what has happened in the past or what is happening now with a third party. I think it's a queen of cups, queen of swords. These two are different. 
either this Queen of Swords is, you know, if, if this Queen of Cups and that Queen of Swords are the same person exhibiting different energies, this is the energy of the past and this is of the future. Do you know what I'm, I'm saying there? I'm trying not to confuse you, um, but, you know, this is energy we're dealing with. This, tarot is not black and white, okay? If you're watching tarot to get definitive answers, you're going to be very upset, <laughs> disappointed. But when with energy, how it flows, you know, how we go back and forth, you know, I feel like also time is fluid. So this Queen of Swords reverse could have been the Queen of Swords of the past. That was very heartbroken. And now this Queen of, Queen of Cups is ready to drop this burden. I feel like this burden is going to get dropped. And, and that's going to include this King of Wands as well. I'm also getting the message, this King of Wands if they're and this King of Cups are not going to get in the way of this, no matter how much they try. Because there's a new beginning here. This Ace of Wands is a new opportunity for this person. And, um, and they might be blocked from this new opportunity at the moment, but that Wheel of Fortune is turning all the time. It's not going to be a forever delay. And I really get the sense that this King of Wands reverse caused a lot of the heartbreak here or the third party interference and was a burden to this Queen of Cups. And now she's ready to, she or he is ready to drop this. Now, this King of Cups, this King of Wands could be the same person or they could be different people. Some of you are dealing with two people or even three. Others of you, it's the same person. This King of Wands and King of Cups are the same person. They're trying whatever they can do to keep someone from having a new beginning. And it doesn't have to be a male as well. It could be a woman, you know, it doesn't have to be a male. But, you know, don't focus so much on the gender, but focus on what is this King of Cups reverse and King of Wands reverse trying to do. When they're, when they're reversed, they tend to be more manipulative more um, focused on themselves and what they want to achieve. They're unbalanced. They they are um, uh, emotionally unable to handle their emotions. So, I mean, they're 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 unable to handle their emotions. So they become more of an emotional person, if that makes sense. Um, their emotions are all over the place, basically, and so that causes people to react in different ways, and they're not very positive. So whoever's dealing with this King of Cups, King of Wands energy. Um, you know, it's going to be very difficult, but someone is holding on to a new beginning because I feel like this page of cups over here is a whole new energy. Notice how this page of cups is the only one upright. And then we have a king of cups, king of wands, knight of cups, reverse, knight of wands, reverse. So I'm really getting the sense that this is someone like kind of popping in here. <laughs> Like, hi, I've, I've been admiring you from afar. I've been working on this message. I've been working on getting to you. That's the energy I'm picking up there. So some of you are having someone new that you've manifested in the middle of this mess, kind of like a secret admirer. So um, I hope that resonated with you, Libra. I'll leave it here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video. Take care.